Hello everybody, it's me and welcome back to the video. Now, this is recording at like 10 p.m. because I didn't really know what I wanted to showcase today and I wasn't really going to be doing a showcase. So I kind of just tuned in onto Sora Street. But then I decided, you know what? I'm going to showcase the doodle that was given to me a while ago on a Christmas stream. And I am talking, of course, about Wanda the Malzuri. Now you guys might be wondering, how the heck did you get a, a tinted misprint uh, six star hidden trait uh, Halloween skin Malzuri? Someone on my stream was just like, hey, and then gave it to me. And I was like, huh? I was really, really confused. I don't really know why they gave it to me, but I, I now have it. And I asked them on stream multiple times, like, hey, do you want it back? You can take it back if you want. They said, no, it's yours. And I kept leaving and rejoining saying the same thing. So I'm going to take it. <laughs> now here I have health and magical attack so I can be bulky and do as much damage as I can. And then here, Jelly Lover, this doodle has a 50% chance to create another jelly after they consume one. Now that's really nice because with our heal jelly, we become almost unkillable if it comes down to a 1v1 where it's both neutral attacks. Malzuri is one of those things that's actually a pretty decent defensive typing and it's able to sustain itself super well with its own item which is really really good and then with crystal wall you can cut opponent's physical attacks in half which is really nice because your magical defense is higher than your defense and then we also have rust gem blast and food fight you can replace food fight for aqua gel or whatever the heck you want it to be i went for food fight so i can hit hensham a bit harder because i think hensham is something very important to hit because of how annoying it can be and plus it just hits most melee types in general you can also hit aluminja which could be pretty good if it doesn't kill you with helicopter kick um and that's pretty nice and you can also rust um a lot of metal types too and you're honestly a, just pretty good in general because you're able to beat quite a lot of things in the game only thing that you should be worried about has to be plant and water types you can't hit water types like that hard at all and plant types ooh, you can't do much against at all either but if a moss exists malzuri is entirely walled so that does kind of suck but here we have Glemish Cap, Rock Candy, and Pizza Slice. We're trying to do, we're trying to be bulky and do damage while not dying. And I think this is a really good lineup. I was thinking about using uh, like Theater Mask. If you really wanted to, you could, because you're not losing that much speed. But I don't really want to lose speed because I already, I think my speed's at like 85, and 85 is an okay enough speed stat to a point where you can abuse stuff. Let me let me go check. Doodle World. Malzuri and let me go check the speed stat and it is 95 actually so you're fairly quick with Malzuri but anyway I'm excited hope you are as well and let's just hop into the very first battle okay and then here we go into the first battle now it took me freaking forever to actually find one of these battles so I'm gonna really hope this works out in my favor Malzuri is so so good in this game um, I feel like they might go with, like, a Polar Geist lead. I really feel like going, um, I'm gonna go Grufflin, because if, even if they go Polar Geist, I have two options for it. Okay, I go Go Mud. So, mm, hmm, hmm, what sucks is that I know I live. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Hmm. God, go much sucks. Oh, oh, I understand. Okay, so let's break this thing with a rust. We're not gonna kill this in one hit, but we'll get it low. Oh, never mind. God, go much sucks. Holy crap immediately got one hit I imagine if I went into springling I would have been able to avoid all that Zeno okay so Xenox is a little scary because uh, uh, my resident thing to beat it is uh, waffles which if we're looking at my team uh, it can poison punch me Direct. oh it's um Okay, let's assume I outspeed the Xenoxious, because I do have the higher speed stat by 11 points. Yep, so now I get my hit and run, do half his health, and now I assume they're going to Poison Punch, right? And you have 164, and you have 120, so definitely not as being there. They're going to go for the Poison Punch, which I think means I can safely go Aluminja. 
poison punch comes out okay very very good um and this will actually allow me to get an iron slash which will be able to kill this innoxious very very nice aluminja is so freaking good like there's no understating how good aluminja actually is it's just so good i'm assuming that's mono yep yeah, okay so this is definitely just a waffle switch you know, a while back, Waffles used to be my only switch in the monologue back in the tournament days. I would just hope everything will work out in my favor when that happens. Like, God, the Joe Blocks tournament days was so fun. It was so, so early on, on Doodle World PvP. And, like, the meta has developed so much up to that point. It, it's, it's awesome. And I can't wait to see where it goes in the future. Double Blight. And I'll heal here. The other bite comes out. I basically took six damage there, which is hilarious. Let me rust, which this will take out the Cupquake, because of course we have that magical attack investment. And we actually do get a crit. I severely doubt that mattered. But yeah, now look at this. Notice how Mazuri is just healing constantly. It's insane. So we're actually healing 51 HP, I'm noticing. Okay, this is a rust, which is super effective because of it being a metal type. Antenna beam, that shouldn't do that much at all. And then I heal. I actually haven't created another jelly yet. Oh! Woo! Malzuri's crazy! I assume now they're gonna go into Kendagon. Actually, no, they go polar. I can't really hit that. Um Let me gem blast. I missed. That is unfortunate. Probably ethereal then. We both missed. Okay, I create another heal jelly. So if ethereal or not ethereal, if that's coming out, I'm gonna go kill Intel, which is the most useless thing I have right now. I want that to be asleep so I can go back into Malzuri and then activate Sleep Claws, which, if you don't know, Sleep Claws is where only one Doodle or Pokemon or Lumion can be asleep at one time. So, that's really good. Kandagon comes in, okay. This is a little unfortunate, because at this point, if it's Mind Drain, I can die pretty easily, but I think at this point, I can't really beat this. You see, I need to hit it, I think, just to break its sugar coating. Mind Drain. Don't get it back up to max. That's all I don't need. Don't get back up to max. It's not Dark Chocolate. Um, yeah, I'll just Rust. It doesn't- Mouseuri can go down. It doesn't really matter. Check out Monologue, check out Metal Electra. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Trigger Coating Candagon is really good, but it's not good enough, unfortunately. Which allows me to bring in a Luminja and win the game pretty easily from there. Because, since I am super duper fast, 197 base speed, I, or not base speed, just 107 speed. 197, I mean. And that's an Iron Slash there, and Kandagon goes down, and that will be enough to take out the Polar Geist, which will be very, very solid for me. And that is going to be a GG. You know, I think I said that a lot back in, like, my starting days of YouTube. Like, and that's going to be a GG. Good game. GG. Good game. The battle took like 11 minutes before it finally decided to go. This is again an extremely good game for Malzuri. Um, what sucks is that they also have Malzuri, which we really only have one way to beat it being Springling. But since we have Springling plus Malzuri, we can actually take out most metal types that can resist Springling. And then we also have uh, nothing to beat bug types, so that's hilarious to me. Um, I feel like I could go into you. I really like Zapoira. I really, really do. God, you're so fast. Um, I'm actually gonna go with this lead. I think this is a fine lead. He can't really counter lead me at all. So. My light show. Okay. We need to hit and run here. What's amazing here uh, is. If he, if I outspeed him and, he, and then I hit and run, that's good because I can go into and kill Intel and just not take any damage. But if they hit and run first, which they're most likely going to because this thing is 120 base speed, 140? 120, 140, something around there. Um, then I get the slower pivot, which gives me the advantage. Although they can go into their non-air resistant thing. So that's really good. <laughs> We're screenshotting me. Let's go, dude.
All right, let's have a let's have a battle. Come on, help me through PvP. Let's go. Okay, so they actually swarm, and they actually proceed to take that hit, which is very interesting. Um, which allows me to actually go into Mielzuri. And okay, so it's it's not conductor, so that means uh, Zapoir is good here. Um, problem is they go Megordles. Okay, they don't. They just they take this hit, which is totally fine. I take like no damage, so. Nice. Down goes the Elytra. We unfortunately did take damage I didn't really want to take, though. Hmm? I assume you're going to pivot into your... My portals? Even Fru Toad would have worked there. Am I dead? Oh, I'm alive. Just barely. Oh my god. Mm. That's not very good, is it? Okay, luckily I can go for my flashbang here and take this thing out. Unfortunately, now Malzuri is kind of useless. It only gets like one move, probably on the fruit toad, I would assume. So they they switch out probably into Malzuri. They go into okay, the portals. That lets me go into uh, Gruffland. Um, they're probably gonna disarm, actually. Oh, I can bear- I, I'm gonna disarm myself, actually. I need to get rid of these crayons. I can't let it get stuff. Shell crash? Uh, super effective, right? That did, like, one damage! What the heck is shell crash? Hold up. Wait, no. Why'd that do, like, one damage? Uh, user crashes its shell into the target, 30% chance to lower the target's attack. Bruh, that move sucks. What? I did like, it did like one damage. Parasitic, that does suck. Quite a bit, that does suck. But it should be fine, because I can just hit and run, get rid of it, and... He's Parasitic, Plant Sap, Shell Shock, and I would assume, like, Disarm, right? Hit run, okay. How do I beat this? <laughs> How do I beat this? I don't know. Um. That's not good. That's an earth type move. Why was that neutral? Dude, what What's going on? I'm I don't resist that. Okay, shell shot kind of sucks. <clears throat> okay. Oh, he used Shell Shock and then Shell Crash. What does Shell Shock do? Uh. Okay, I need people to uh to to read this description of this move real quick for me. Just um, hold on. I'm, I'm zooming in all the way, so you guys can read it with me. Okay. Let, let me pull it up. The user attacks using its shell, has a 10% has a chance to paralyze, has a 20% chance to paralyze. Excuse me? That sends so many mixed messages, what am I supposed to expect? What were you expecting when you went into this? I guarantee I'm faster than you. I'm a six star Zapoira. I guarantee I'm faster. Guarantee it. I'm gonna miss though. So, that's nice. Oh. Well, you know, maybe it was like candy headphones, so. I should win now. Mm hmm. Now I just win with Springling. Take out this Zapoera. Then I can Quick Strike the Grufflin. Then I Leaf Blade. 
Yeah, I just win now, Springling. So, despite Melzuri getting low pretty early, it was still able to do a little bit by getting the Grufflin low and then killing the Metalytra, which opened up Springling. <laughs> yep. God. Open up. Op get rid of Springling's weaknesses. You just win immediately. Does so much damage. Gosh, I love Springling, dude. Ah, that's a good game though. So I think in this instance, my quick strike is stronger than my disarm. I can't wait till Chaos Assault. Like you see how good Chaos Assault is on a uh, Bun Swirl, right? Which you see it on a Springling with huge power. Clo it, it's like having a Zoomeril with water type close combat. A Zoomeril with wave crash is how good Chaos Assault Springling is going to be. It's, it's insane. It's crazy. That's a GG. Good game. Good game, good, good game. It takes like 30 minutes before I can even get one game. But honestly, as long as I can get into the battle, I'll be happy. This is not a very good Malzuri game, but I'll still roll with it because uh, Rust and Food Fight's really strong. Yeah, our, our, our moves are really strong. Um, We can beat Kronos. If we out, mm, okay, this is actually not the worst game. I like my Zapoera lead. Actually, I'll just go Grufflin lead every time. I just Grufflin lead. Can to Grief or uh, Sombrock. Okay. Um, I apply seasoning. So I'm hitting and running. And they're gonna click Food Fight. Probably. Right? So realistically, I go into you. Oh, well, that's not fun. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna night night, aren't you, buddy? Uh, oh no. I'm just, uh, not gonna tank that attack. Thank you very much. Oh, you're switching to what? Zappo? Well, I assume now you're gonna lightning kick, right? Let me hit and run. I'm not gonna outspeed. Right, you're gonna lightning kick, right? You're lightning kicking. I go into you to get rid of my sleep. Then I'll heal up. They taser and I'm completely fine. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go into waffles <laughs> on the helicopter kick. Three, four, five. Okay. So I get to go for a food fight now and take this thing out because I did outspeed it before, so I know that I can kick it out with a food bite. Then I'll be able to hit around the next thing that comes in. I love talking fast. I mean, I understand that maybe at some points people are just like, can you not talk that fast when you're going over your showcase thing? I'm like, okay. And then I try to go slow and then I suddenly talk like faster than usual. Okay, you are going to fireball, right? Or Kona Cold. I can go Malzuri, right? Should wake up here. Oh, oh, okay. So I don't get to use Malzuri. Good to know. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? What the heck, man? Bruh. I gotta like do something to Canda Grief or something. I gotta switch on Gilintel because I can kind of walk Gilintel, which is really good for me. Wally Gilintel. I'll just flashbang. Yeah, they have uh, three legendaries that is red. Their only thing they're missing is Blubby. Uh, I'll take a fireball. Doesn't really matter. Oh, Night Night. That's right. Oh, is it like a sleep based team? I mean, only one Harmony user, right? Sparkling Finish Harmony could be pretty solid. Okay, I'll switch on Somperock and just hope I can wake up. 
can you not click like a status move and click a damaging move Ugh. dude how do you not realize if i'm frozen Wake me up inside. I need to wake up. Please wake up. Please get out of your freezing state. Of course not. And yeah, go to your killing tower. And I'll just leave blade, do half your health, live your attack. And then I'll kill the Malzuri. And that's just how it's gonna work. And I'm sorry to, that you have to come to that realization that yeah, I'm lost. And it's gonna take some adjusting to realize that you lost. And now I have to do another battle because the showcase doodle died in three seconds. But that's entirely besides the point. I'm gonna die after this next Leaf Blade. Sling dies of honor. Get in the late game, please. Salute. People that are here, timestamp it and just put a salute emoji after I said the thing up for. Don't let people know they have to salute, okay? Just put the timestamp after, like right now. What is it with me fighting Malzuri's today? I just wanted to do Malzuri's show. He said I fight 11,000 trillion Malzuri's. Okay, so basically, we're going to have to beat the mold before we can play the game. There's a kind egg on, and I'm not happy. Vertato! Well, can't I just, like, click food fight and damage it? And if they go into, like, what mold that gets a little bit of chip and then i can see um aluminja winning the game hit and run beautiful see the reason i didn't want to hit and run there is i would have gotten the faster pivot and you never want to get the faster pivot when you're fighting two pivoters because if you get the faster pivot you're giving the other player the advantage yeah you get damage and you switch the thing that resists it but in the end it's not really gonna work and i know that you're freaking stitching and i know you want me to do something and i know Bye. Um, I know that that thing wants me to hit it because it's spiky thorn stitching. Guaranteed spiky thorn stitching, but I shan't. I shall not. And that's freaking yarn snare. Oh shoot. Well, that's not fun. What are you switching to here, buddy? I could have disarmed actually, yeah. Candago. Oh, you're gonna start lightning and spamming, aren't you? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He wants to go all in, doesn't he? Uh, how do I get him to not do that? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, you're gone? Oh, sick. Well, the Yarn Snare's still up, so I can't get rid of that just yet, and I need to to play the game. I could just get rid of it now and deal with damage on you. <laughs> I can heal. It's fine. Alright. Let's hit and run. You're gem blasting, right? I want to predict a gem blast, but there's really no reason to. I can just go my own Malzuri. And now we can have that gem blast duel. Climb it. Ow! Ow! You doo-doo head. 
Why'd you do 37,000 damage? Is it an offensive Malzuri? Because it took a lot of damage. Henrietta? Wait a minute. Let me, let me think about this for a second. Um, so, it's a Hensham, right? It's on the field. It sees a Malzuri. It wants to click Pursuit. And then it sees a Grufflin. Knowing that I can switch it in, he clicks Venom Bite. I Crystal Wall, two Quad to our Tragentillion IQ right here. Can I heal? Thanks. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! You're gonna pursue. You're pursuing. You're pursuing. Oh my god. Live. Live. I'm alive! Oh my god. I killed Henshin at 3 HP. Oh my god, I'm alive. Oh my god. You have to be dead, right? You have to be dead. No. 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 Okay. But, I did get to show Malzuri was able to 1v1 Henshin. Which was one of the things I really did want to show. I think that definitely gives you a look at how good this thing is. I need to get rid of this yarn. I got rid of the yarn snail already. I'm going to you. You don't have priority anymore, do you? Aluminja. Do I want to sharpen on this? What's his priority? Nothing. I don't see any priority. But I know for a fact you're gonna you're you're wanting to uh you're hitting and running. I know that. Uh let me go into you. Oh, is that Rainmaker Climate Shot? That's weird. Let me disarm. You're going... I I mean, you could go Spunny if you want to. But, oh, sick. Oh! Oh! I see. I, I, I know what you're doing. It's terrifying. Um, but I understand what you're doing. I need to... I, I can't I can't switch out. I'm Cursed Cloak. I need to deal with the damage here. Yeah, I have, I have to deal with this, and I have to be able to beat this mold. Because looking at it, I can't beat it unless I do this exact thing that I'm doing. Um, I need to click sharpen now with Illuminja because I just needed to kill the mold, right? I just need to kill that, then I could win with Illuminja. So, um, I could also maybe preserve kill intel, but there's not really any point. So I can just die. Find a shot. That doesn't really matter because that doesn't really change the outcome of all this. Yeah, I'm going to you, and then I can quick strike. What I'm worried about is Spunny. I'm worried about Spunny just coming in and ruining my day, but it can't really hit me besides a disarm. If he disarms, I gotta go Illuminja. What's your 97? So that's not at max health. So he wouldn't have sugar coating. So that means I click sharpen once with the Luminja, and then I win if I don't get electrocuted by Voltatu. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna save Springling and go Grufflin. Now, this is where I'm gonna go in with Luminja. I don't actually know if the Spunny. I'm I gonna do this. It's very risky because I don't know if Spunny is uh, Spiky Thorns or not. So it's gonna be very risky if it's Spiky Thorns Spunny. Then I can lose. If not, I think I can, actually I think I still win with Springling's Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade plus Quick Strike, Springling still wins the game. I think. So I should be fine. I should be okay. Oh wait, they swapped. Oh, they're going for the Electrocute, aren't they? Yeah, they want me to get Electrocuted. So, we have to hope we don't hit the 1 in 30. Or, not the 1 in 30, the, the 1 in 3. And, we should be fine. If not, um, then we're going to have to do a few things. We're going to have Hope Springling wins. Don't get the... Okay, that was Spiky Thorns. Don't get Electrocuted? Good, okay. So, there, Voltaccio was the Electrocutor. I'm pretty sure now I win with Illuminja. Pretty sure it's able to take out Kendig on one hit. If it doesn't, I get to go Springling and win as well. So, Springling is able to get Spunny low, which makes me go Zapuera and then Lightning Kick it. But Stitching, actually. That'll give it uh, its healing, right? 
I would need to kill Kandagon in one hit here. I need to. No, I can still go Springling and just Leaf Blade. Yeah, I have to one-shot this here. And it doesn't have its thing. I think I still do, right? 117, I have a lot of attack investment. Come on. Come on. What, what is happening? Do you realize that was literally the only thing you had from losing to Zapoera? Oh, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing, and it's actually pretty smart. Um, yeah, I know what you're doing. You're smart. He's trying to get Kendagon to get sugar coating back after I kill the Spunny. I'm pretty sure that's how that works, is that once he switches in, he'll get the boost. Unfortunate that I got burned. My plan was he doesn't burn me. Okay, um, we're gonna have to just damage the Kendagon now. We're gonna have to damage the Kendagon, and then see how much damage we do, and then from there, Leaf Blade Springly and see if we win. Leaf Blade Springling actually wins us regardless. No, he loses. He can't win. He can't win. If yeah, he couldn't. He can't win this. No matter what he does. I should have just killed the Spunny. Actually, I'm kind of dumb. Oh, it still kills. <laughs> I guess sharpening there was kind of the safest option. No, Dark Slash was the best option. It was the best option. And that will end off the game with an Iron Slash. I'm not clicking Help with our kit because I know I'm gonna miss. And that's a GG. Good game. Good, good game. Took me one sharp, one safe sharp with Aluminja. We sweep the game. That was pretty good. Very, very nice. And with that being said, that's getting off this showcase. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you did, leave like and subscribe down below. If I'm going to be honest, I think Malzuri is really, really good because of how bulky it is and how it can be used as like a really good 1v1-er. I think Malzuri can win any 1v1 if it's down to neutral attacks because if it's a, it's just, it can heal, it can boost, decent coverage all around. It's, it's honestly pretty good. I think it's pretty good. You can check metal types pretty well, beat Henshin in a 1v1, which is really nice. I'm very glad we were able to do that just because he went for overpredicting stuff. But yeah, hope everybody enjoyed. I'll see you over the next one. Bye-bye.